Now to ITMA and a community making one final push to stop a commercial development essentially in their backyard. It's a story that we first told you about last week. ITMA's Cody Fisher was out at Traders Point, a neighborhood there with more an important rezoning vote that's looming. Signs just like this one opposing this commercial development are all over this neighborhood. This is the quiet and tranquility that people in this area just west of 465 want to preserve. We moved here because of the peace and quiet. Samantha Club is concerned that peace and quiet could be at risk if the developer, Cornerstone Companies, is allowed to rezone 200 acres of woods into a commercial zone. In a statement, Cornerstone told IT Mate, we envision high-end restaurants and retail coupled with quality housing, state-of-the-art health care, hotel, life sciences, office space, and substantial green space and trails for the community. I just don't know how putting in retail space, apartments, condominiums, offices, and a potential hotel is going to bring any sort of positive change to this neighborhood. Outside of those concerns, some people in the area are also concerned about the environmental impact. My main concern is the drainage because once there's an additional area of pavement, then we'll have more runoff into the two creeks that feed into this area, which in turn is the water supply to uh, Beagle Creek Reservoir. Is there a happy medium where both sides can be happy? I think potentially if they were willing to work with the residents who have lived here for a long time. I think, you know, we're not totally anti-development. It's just that we need to have some assurance that it's more in harmony with the existing single-family homes in the neighborhood and not large commercial development. In the statement to IT Mate, Cornerstone Companies also said, we are working with the neighborhood groups to hear their concerns and help navigate those issues as future stakeholders in the Traders Point area. The vote to decide if this land will be rezoned is on July 27th. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.